You would think with the amount of BS that school puts us through that to be able to take some time away and spend a day somewhere else would be immaculate. Before I ever went on my first field trip, I used to think that we were on some magic school bus type ish. But they took us on the most depressing, boring, and brain shrinking field trips ever. And this played a big part of my life because in my K through 12 years, I went on a total of about 5 field trips. Like they were rarer than a Ben Simmons bucket. But y'all already know that every field trip that I went on was a family sized bag of cheeks. So today, we will be discussing the worst parts about field trips and some of my personal experiences with them. And like and subscribe if you're new. Like I said earlier, I feel like after middle school, we don't even go on field trips anymore. They were as extinct as the dinosaurs they took us to go see. Or if we did have a field trip in high school, you had to go out of your way to go on one. See, back in elementary and middle school, the teacher would pass out permission slips to the entire class. But when you hit high school, that shit was kept undercover. Then just out of nowhere, you see a group of your classmates going on a bus to an amusement park or something. And the amusement park was a one-time thing, don't get it twisted. And not to mention, my school used to be taxing the hell out of us to go on these field trips. Niggas had to pay a college tuition to go on basic-ass field trips to a museum. Like, I get it, the school got to pay for buses, gas, and shit, but there should be no reason why I had to pay a fucking mortgage for it. The rest of the field trips that I went on must have been chose by Doodle Bob or something, bro. Now we gotta talk about how early we had to be at the school for these field trips. Now, for me personally, I already had to get up at the crack of dawn and go to school. I come to school with bags deeper than Kobe Bryant, but if I went on a field trip, that shit was like living with insomnia. The moment I put my head down to go to sleep, I had to get right back up to go to school. And when I would get there, we had to wait an extra hour for these slow-ass teachers to put groups together. Not to mention, once we deadass had to wait for one student who decided he wanted to come away week later. If it were up to me, I would have left that nigga in the dust, but they made us wait for one person to come to school. And the crazy thing is to me is that the places we would go to would close at like 8pm, so there is dead ass no reason for us to be leaving so early like we're headed to the airport. Now we gotta talk about the lunches. Now if you watch my video covering school lunches, then you already know about the nuclear waste they were trying to pass off as food. So when we would go on these field trips, all they would do was wrap it in saran wrap. This meant that pretty much everybody brought their own lunch. Nobody was gonna risk hospitalizing themselves with school food because they were too lazy to pack their own lunch. And obviously I took full advantage of this situation and brought the most delectable goodies I had. I'm talking Oreos, Doritos, Capri Suns. My brown paper bag was looking like a Nikocado avocado mukbang in this bitch. But the problem is that we couldn't eat till like five hours later. We would be walking around all day, but couldn't sit down and regain our energy until it was damn near time to leave. The chaperones would deadass wait until our bodies were fucking see-through until they let us eat. And once we went on this field trip in this forest or something, it felt like them niggas had us looking for Bigfoot. And they made us eat outside. It was muddy and dirty as hell. It looked like everybody had dookie booty afterwards. Not to mention the bugs were jumping the shit out of us like like Power Rangers. But regardless, lunch was only one of the slight W's about field trips. Now it's time to talk about the buses. Now I don't know about y'all, but whenever we would take a normal bus to a field trip, the bus would look like Pigpen had just threw a party in that motherfucker. Like the bus would make New York City look clean. Like y'all knew a bunch of kids were gonna be on this bus, yet you refused to clean it. And more often than not, there would be too many kids for the bus and we had to triple up in one seat. And once there was four kids in one seat, and they deadass were sitting on each other's laps, bruh. But when we would leave in the morning, it felt like everybody snorted five lines beforehand. It was a fucking ride on the bus. A whole bunch of tomfoolery. You couldn't even hear yourself think. But one time we had an out of state trip that we went on. This meant that we got to take a charter bus there. And I remember we were geeked out our fucking minds. We deadass felt like celebrities bro. And I remember it being the best experience I ever had on a bus. But let me tell y'all this. At the very back of the bus there was a bathroom with a toilet. And if you're familiar with my channel then you already know what this honorable act is coming next. While we were coming back from our trip this big ass kid. Like no exaggeration he was built like Butterbean. This nigga ran to the back of the bus and went into the bathroom. Everybody looked at the back of the bus in pure terror. We already knew what was coming next. About 15 minutes later, he opened the door, and dear God, the most stomach turning, nose hair burning, vomit inducing smell violated our fucking noses. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the windows on the buses couldn't open? I dead ass started typing my will to send to my parents. And to this day, that is the closest I've ever come to be put on a shirt. But the bus ride coming back from the field trip might possibly be the biggest vibe to ever hit planet Earth. Most of the crackheads I mentioned before would be passed out, but I didn't trust falling asleep on a bus full of teenagers. Them niggas would have had my face looking like a desk in detention. Now we gotta talk about the chaperones that would come with us on these field trips. Little did we know back then, but these were the Karens before they were famous. Firstly, half the chaperones would be the teachers themselves, and y'all already know how I feel about my teachers, but the other half would be these kids' parents. And some of them would be cool, but some of them would be the most immoral individuals I've ever came in contact with. They used to be so fucking strict for no reason. I get it, you don't want to lose any kids or have anybody get hurt, but at the same time, let me get on my door shit and go explore. Like, they wouldn't let us do anything, and they were always yelling at us for no reason. They were getting mad over the smallest shit. They really thought they were intimidating niggas too. They thought they were making a shake in our boots. But in reality, nobody
nobody give a fuck about them or what they had to say. They deadass made most of my teachers look like heavenly angels. Now that's some shit I never thought I would witness with my pupils. Now we gotta talk about how boring most of the field trips were. I know that most of you have gone on the stereotypical museum field trip. Those were by far the worst field trips. Fuck do I look like walking around for hours looking at bones. And most of the time, there was nothing for us to interact with. It was just like window shopping at the mall when you got no bread. Another field trip that I vividly remember was to this village. And it was pretty much a bunch of grown ass niggas pretending like they were from the 1940s. It was a bunch of old ass niggas giving lectures about how people lived back then. Like bro, I really don't care about how old man McGucket was churning butter. And I know y'all also remember the classic zoo field trip. I think this is when I realized how corrupt and twisted zoos were. Like these niggas were just sitting in their pens like moody teenagers. When in reality, they should be out hunting a gazelle or something. They also smelled worse than butter bean from the charter bus, which seemed like a damn near impossible feat. But zoo field trips were really just depressing to me. Free my niggas out the pen. And I know y'all remember the merchandise stores that they used to have. Now back then, I had no funds to my name. And like I said earlier, the field trip itself costed a lung and a kidney. So I never had any money to bring on these field trips. The chaperones tried their hardest to try and cock block us from going to the stores though. But at the same time, I wasn't really missing out on shit because everything in those stores looked like it fell off the back of a fucking pickup truck. And they had to nerve to be taxing us just as much as the schools did. They did ask for charging $50 for a stuffed giraffe. I can get the same thing off Amazon for a fifth of the price. And of course, these NPCs that I went to school with were cashing out on all this shit. These museums were really trying to finesse some bands from some 12 year olds. Put their ass behind bars for life. I also gotta mention what would happen when we would see another school on the same field trip as us. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when we seen a different school district on the same field trip as us, it was on site. There was more beef than a filet mignon. I remember me and my group of friends pulled up on another group of students and started begging them. But one time it went too far and a fight broke out and someone from our school folded another kid like Sunday laundry. But by far, the absolute worst part about field trips is the work that we had to do after. You would think that after spending six hours at a museum that the teacher would let us go about our jolly way. But these niggas don't believe in peace. After spending a whole day at a science museum, everybody is struggling to stay awake and they got the nerve to hand me a five page packet. And what's crazy is that the packet wouldn't even be about our favorite experiences or anything. They'll be actual work with questions about what they were explaining on the field trip. We would have to write constitution length essays about how photosynthesis works. My nigga, the whole point that I went on this field trip was to get away from doing this shit. At this point, I should've just stayed at school. And speaking of staying at school, Finally, we gotta talk about what it was like staying behind on a field trip when most of the other kids went on it. I remember in middle school, I stayed behind on one field trip, and I was scared to go to school that day. I thought they were gonna make us work. But let me tell you, it was the most divine, soothing, and majestic day I've ever had at school. It was just me, my friend, and some random bra that we don't really care about. But we literally spent the entire day just playing board games and using our phones. A day away from those preposterous people who just felt so therapeutic. But speaking about staying behind on the field trips just jogged my memory about the kids who will get left on the actual field trip. Once we left this kid at a science museum and we didn't realize till we were like five blocks away already but nobody even realized he was missing not even his group mates so we had to spin the block to come pick him up i don't think he really cared and that probably should have been a lawsuit but hey i'm not the feds but i think that's gonna cover everything in this video man and once again this is just another episode in the school is shitty chronicles thank y'all for watching and showing so much love and support to the channel man thank y'all truly comment down below the worst experience that you've ever had on a field trip and like subscribe if you're new man because we're taking over 2023 man you might you might as well join the family also let me know what you want to see next down in the comments below i hope this video finds you in good spirits i'm g grimy it's been real i'm out i love y'all stay up peace